So if your HP TJ01 warranty is expired and you're still not happy with the thermal performance of that 15 liter case, despite the fact that you did all the previous modifications that I showed you in my videos, what's your next step? So we're gonna look at it today. Hey guys, welcome back to the Hardware Science channel. My name is Ivan and today we are looking at again at a HP TJ01 and how we're gonna migrate the internals of this computer to a regular custom build that way we're hoping to get a lot better thermal performance and i'm 100 percent sure that we will because despite the fact that i already modified this case to got custom cooling solution uh intake fan which is noctua it's still not enough compared to a regular size or somewhat compact size atx case that has two or more fans for intake has an exhaust fan and a lot more room inside now the montag case that i reviewed a couple weeks ago has 240 millimeter fans right on the front so they're going to be pulling a lot of fresh air inside the case and just the sheer size we're talking about here maybe 25 liters close to 30 compared to 15 here and only one uh, 80 millimeter fan from noctua pulling fresh air inside and only one 80 millimeter fan exhausting it so it's going to be still far less well performing compared to something like that. So to keep things in a very low budget, I decided to build in this case, which cost me $40. And if you look around uh, the internets uh, and get a deal on that case, you can probably get it around the same price. Another thing you need is a motherboard. Uh, personally, I'm gonna be using this Asus Prime B450M A2. This is a very budget oriented motherboard. Uh, like I mentioned, under $70. But still, the options with this kind of motherboard are much, much better than what you're getting stock by HP with a custom motherboard, which you can't really uh, do much. Before I do anything, I just wanna quickly mention that if you don't wanna buy a new Windows key, you have to extract the Windows key from the TG01 uh, that it's currently installed and reuse that Windows key on your new build. I'm gonna leave the link in the description below on some software that you can just check on your uh, Windows key, write it down and just use it on your new build. And the last thing you're gonna need uh, without spending too much money, obviously, it's a power supply. And what I did, I went to eBay and I grabbed a very good power supply. And this is uh, personal advice to you guys. If you don't have the budget to spend a lot of money on a uh, brand new power supply, keep in mind that eBay has a great selection of power supplies. Uh, from computers, uh, pre-builds, uh, stuff like that. People just disassemble and sell the power supplies. You just need to know what you're looking for. And I grabbed a 650 watt, 80 plus gold uh, power supply, not modular, but is under $30. So the whole uh, upgrade, the whole migration cost me $40 plus 70 plus 30. So we're talking about $140 total budget for doing that migration uh, obviously if you have more money you can probably get a better case you can get a better memory i'm personally going to be reusing the memory that comes with it uh, but you can get a better memory right now the ddr4 memory is not that expensive and two by eight sticks will run you around 50 60 dollars uh, for something nice and the motherboard is uh, very cheap uh, under 70 dollars and power supply 30 dollars it's going to do a great job uh, for the internals we have uh, ryzen 5 3600 and we have the GTX 1650 Super, uh, and obviously 650 watts is an overkill, but uh, maybe in the future, if you're lucky enough, you can score um, RTX 3050 or 3060 or 3060 Ti or even 3070 at some point, and you wanna plug it in here, no problem. I think the Ryzen 5 3600 is still a very competent processor, and especially if you're playing on 1440p like myself, the processor is barely doing anything, so everything goes to the GPU, and the GPU does all the work. Now, I am not gonna show you how to pull all the internals and disassemble everything. If you wanna see any of those details, uh, go to my uh, any of my previous videos that I did on the TG01 and the upgrades I did. I show in details there how to disassemble everything, uh, take the CPU out and everything else. Here, we're just gonna do some thermal performance testing. I'm gonna show you temperatures, uh, stock, well, not really stock, but with my, my mods, the TG01, what kind of performance you're getting uh, currently. Uh, after playing 30 40 minutes and I'm going to show you how much the temperature will improve once we migrate the internals uh, to a regular ATX case and see what kind of uh, performance we're going to get there so yeah uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the migration I'm going to sh show you some shots on the freshly built ATX uh, case with the internals or most of the internals from the TG01 and then we're going to see the thermal tests and talk about it in the conclusion
all right conclusion time and the results are in like i predicted and i was thinking we're gonna have a huge improvement in thermals when we compare that stock 15 liter hp pavilion gaming desktop case versus this very budget friendly montac x2 mash there's a great improvement in production we can see cpu temperature dropping 10 degrees from 84 to 74 degrees this is running cinebench on a loop so great results there when it comes to gaming even better results before that i was looking at 74 degrees 75 degrees while gaming and now we're looking at 59 degrees not even 60 this is a great drop another 15 degrees drop while gaming um, excellent results to see and of course with the gpu before that i was looking at temperatures up to 82 83 degrees inside the hot box we are looking at temperatures of 69 degrees this is another big drop from 82 to 69 this is another 13 degrees drop just from migrating all these internals from the small hp case to this regular size atx case and obviously with two a large 14 millimeter fence intake and we have a 12 millimeter exhaust in the back now temperatures aside they're excellent across the board but silence is absolutely amazing as well with the old case when all these fans ramp up and the temperature is so high and obviously the gpu fan which is single ramps up the noise is becoming too much especially if you're keeping the desktop on top of your desk i can't even hear the sound when i close the side panel glass even in the gaming for 30 40 minutes uh, you can't even hear the gpu you can't even hear the cpu everything stays very silent so i advise you all if you are willing to go ahead and do this kind of a budget upgrade get yourself a case motherboard and a power supply and you're good to go everything else is migrated we have the cpu the gpu the memory the storage everything was migrated uh, to this case uh, one thing i did which i haven't done in many many years and normally i advise against it uh, if you don't have too much time if you don't want to do a clean windows install and transfer your key from the old motherboard uh, just put everything together and power up it worked for me no problem it just wanted me to re-enter my windows account password the key was automatically transferred and i didn't have to do a reinstall i know fresh reinstall would have given me probably a little bit of better performance uh, maybe a couple frames more uh, but i just didn't want to do it i want to test it and see how it's going to work if you guys go ahead and transfer everything without doing a fresh install so I'm happy to report everything works with no problem. Updates came on, everything else, and um, it's working. We have a functional uh, Windows key and everything else is running great. Lower temperatures, lower noise, looks a lot better. Um, and uh, yeah, I definitely recommend it, especially if your warranty is expired and you kind of don't care anymore to do any kind of claims but yeah that's pretty much it guys hit the thumbs up if you like the video stay tuned to the channel subscribe if you're new check out the links in the description below if you want to support the channel directly it helps me tremendously to bring you videos like that every day and as always guys you have a wonderful day